Hello and welcome. My name is Mark. This is Riffle Shuffle and Roll. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to play an Irish card game called 25. If it's your first time visiting the channel, be sure to hit subscribe and that bell so you're notified about new games every week. 25 is a trick taking card game best played with five players. Five is a magic number. In this game, the trump suited five is the highest ranking card. And the first player to capture five tricks wins the game. Now this game typically is very, very quick, only played over two or three rounds. And yet, it is none of those things that makes this game really, really unique. It is the suit ranking structure. And I'm gonna get into detail about that, but I wanna say right up front, do not let this ranking structure keep you from the game. For now, let's dive in and check this game out. In order to play 25, all you need is a standard 52 card deck and a way to keep score. When the clubs or the spades are not trump, they rank in order from low to high, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, ace, jack, queen, king. Here are the cards ranking from low to high. If the clubs or the spades were to become trump, we still have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, and 2. Notice that the 5 becomes the highest ranking card if that suit becomes trump. The jack moves up to become the second highest ranking card. And the ace of hearts is always the third highest ranking card. Notice the ace of clubs and the ace of spades also moved up and above the king. Here is the diamonds suit when it is not trump. This one will be a little easier to remember. We've got ace low up through king high. If diamonds become trump for the round, then the ranking structure changes so that the five of diamonds is at the top. The jack of diamonds is second highest. And of course the ace of hearts is third highest as it always is. The ace of diamonds moves up above the king and then the rest are in typical order. And here are the hearts when they are not trump. Remember the ace of hearts is always the third highest card in the trump suit. That's why the ace is not here. And again, an easy to remember standard ranking, too low, up through king high. And here are the hearts when they are trump. Again, we have the five of hearts move up to the top, the jack of hearts is second, and the ace of hearts is third. Then from there, it goes king on down to two, just like normal. And I'm gonna cut in right here to address this ranking structure. Now, it is a little piece of culture. It is a piece of tradition. So I by no means wanna buck it completely. But if you see that and you're like, nope, I am not even gonna try this game, then I'm gonna recommend that you just play the game with each suit ranked too low, ace high. And then when a suit is picked as trump, then that suit's five becomes the highest ranking card, then the jack, then the ace of hearts, and then ace on down, just like normal. It'll make the game a little easier to approach, a little more digestible, and when you are comfortable with how the game works, then you can maybe try the more traditional way to play. Determine a dealer. That player deals five cards to each player. Cards are dealt in packets of three and then two. The remainder of the deck is placed to the side and the top card is turned over to determine the trump suit for the round. So for this example, spades are trump. That means that the five of spades is the highest card, then the jack of spades, then the ace of hearts, and then the ace of spades, and so on down the line. The first trick is led by the player seated left of the dealer. For this example, we'll say that the dealer is over here on the bottom right, and that player one, the player left of the dealer, would lead the first trick. Before that happens though, there is an opportunity for the player holding the, the trump suited ace, which for this example is the ace of spades, they can rob the pack. They do this by declaring that they have the trump suited ace and then they choose one card from their hand and exchange it for the turn up card. 
if the Trump suited ace is the turn up card, the dealer gets to rob the pack if they choose. Now, neither player, nobody is required to rob the pack. So here, if player five decides not to, they don't have to say anything. But if the player wants to rob, they have to declare it before the first trick. Player five declares that they have the trump suited ace and they exchange their two of clubs for the eight of spades. Now the card that is exchanged is turned face down. Now the game can begin with the player left of the dealer leading the first trick. They may lead any card from their hand. 25 is a May Trump game. So here player one has led the four of diamonds. From this point on for this trick, players may either play a diamond or they may trump the trick. If a player cannot follow suit, they can play any card. Player two chose to follow suit rather than trump. Play passes left. Player three could have followed suit. Instead, they chose to trump the trick. Player four also could have followed suit. Instead, they chose to over trump the nine. They threw down their two of spades. Remember, the ranking is different for spades. So the two actually is winning the trick so far. Player five trumps in on the trick. They could have followed suit with the king of diamonds, but they're gonna hang on to that in case it comes in handy. And they play the jack of spades, which is the second highest ranking card in the trump suit. And they win the trick. The trick winner leads the next trick and they choose to play their ace of clubs. Remember this sits below the jack in the club suit. Here, player one has chosen to trump in with the ace of hearts. Remember, the ace of hearts is always the third highest ranking card in the trump suit. They could have followed suit with the jack of clubs. Instead, they chose to throw in the big dog. Player two also could have followed suit with the six of clubs. Instead, they have chosen to over trump with the highest ranking card, the five of spades. Play passes left. Player three had no choice but to follow suit with the seven of clubs. And player four followed suit with the five of clubs. In this case, the five of spades wins the trick. The trick winner leads the next trick and they chose to lead the trick with the trump suited six, the six of spades. Now when trump is led to the trick, players must follow if they can. If they can't, they can play any card. Now there is an exception to that rule though. A player is never forced to play one of the top three cards in the trump suit. So if they're holding only the five of spades, they do not have to play it. They are allowed to play something else. And the same applies to the trump suited jack and the ace of hearts. So these three cards are not only the highest ranking cards during the round, but they also have that sort of a special power where you are not forced to follow if they are the only cards in your hand. Play passed left and all the other players either followed suit, trumped, or played any card from their hand. For this trick, the ace of spades wins and that player collects the trick. The trick winner leads out with the eight of spades and play passes, nobody else has any spades, so the eight wins the trick. They lead out the final trick with the king of diamonds. Nobody else has any trump. The king is the highest ranking card in the suit that was led, so they win the final trick. Once all the tricks have been played and collected, it's time to tally up your score. Each player earns five points for each trick they capture. So here, player two captured one trick, so they get five points and player five has captured four tricks, so they get 20 points. Continue playing rounds with the deal passing left until one player reaches 25 points. That player is the winner. And that's 25. Now, as you can see, aside from the ranking structure, it's a pretty straightforward game. The May Trump always is a nice 
hook that I think even with just standard ranking order and the trump cards moving accordingly, that may trump is just enough to make the game interesting. I think this is definitely worth playing. Don't let the suit ranking dissuade you. Uh, give it a shot with typical suit ranking. And if you like the way it plays, maybe start introducing that more traditional way to play and see how you feel about it. Well, that is it for now. Thank you for watching. Until next time, keep on playing.